Hello, Red here, bringing part 17 of the 10th Federation Starship Troopers campaign. Um, so, as you could probably see from the year, it's already been two years in advance. And unfortunately, I wasn't aware of the fact that my computer was almost out of memory on my D drive where I saved my videos. So, and I didn't save the um, game for in between episodes. So unfortunately, um, the program used OBS did not. I mean, it saved as much as the video as it could. But when I tried to recover the video, it looks a little something like this. <laughs> And it's not, and that video is not sped up at all. So I, I did not speed up that video personally. It's that's actually what the video is at its at its current state. So unfortunately, um, I'll just have to tell you what I did for those two years. So last video, last episode, I was building up my military force, and that's exactly what I pretty much did for about a year. I investigated a few planets up in this direction, and yeah, I made a, a new army, this new fleet that I got built up, I went to Rana, it built a few ships, I went to Earth, built a few ships, and I'm currently building uh, an assault army, so I'll make a few more of that. And we do have the 4th and 2nd fleet coming down to... Bagrax, two extra fleets I made from Ram and Sol. And they'll come down here to pretty much mark, lock this area down. And currently, I am sending my forces to Minok. And yeah, I pretty much defeated the forces in Bagrax, the 1.6k troops of, of firepower. I went to Dabrin, went along with the new mobile infantry. They're significantly a bit more now. Bill and powerful, 36 forces. So they're pretty powerful now. Though most of those forces do not have any extra attachments to them. And I grabbed uh, 6 units from here and I pretty much built up tons of forces. So actually, I don't need to build extra assault armies here. So there we go. And now I'm simply going to take Manuk and that should probably end the war. From the last recording I did, it pretty much ended the war and I got that system, but I do want to do one more thing. So let's defeat this mining station here and that uh, bit. The system right here. Complete. And let's just go destroy them and send our troops down to Minok. Though it's uh, Corvettes back here, which we'll probably Situation go destroy. There was something I noticed that when I won the war, this uh, frontier outpost still remained, but uh, I won't go and destroy it, because it, it'd be, it's almost considered cheating if I do that. But we'll simply just get our forces, do the same thing I did beforehand. Situation updated. And... Oh, you're going to turn up. Yeah, apologies about that. My computer was telling me that it was low on memory, but it didn't, didn't actually say that it was completely out, so apologies for that. Hopefully that it's hopefully that'll help a tiny bit. Yeah, that's all I pretty much did. And I believe I was sending a I was making a colony ship, yes. But I'm only gonna make one currently. I did discover that if you make a colony ship on this planet, here yeah, you ha it'll have to send an electric colonist from one of these. Areas, so I'm not going to go make one here. But I do have plenty of extra troops that I'm going to probably maybe use. But we are almost done with this wall. So let's go to Minook. Go and destroy the section. 
that's in our mobile infantry there. Now let's pick a few more ships after that conga ship. We have some unemployed people here, so let's go make a symbol of unity. And we got terraforming done. So let's go and... Let's go and get some toxic kelp removed. Actually, let's get some naval doctrine done. It's probably the better option. System survey complete. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. We'll send a few more fleets this direction. Marsh is in the fourth fleet over to here. ship, but the space port goes. Special project complete. And we become the new owner of uh, this bank. To the army and shipyard. Hostile Very good. Fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. We got some new ships, let's send them over here. These are frigate class, not very that useful. But we'll we'll take what we can get. Construction complete. Anomaly found. Situation log updated. And let's combine these two armies and go bombard this world. Get our mobile infantry ready. So it's going to take a little bit to get it fully bombarded, but we will have full ground support. Population will get over it. It's war. It happens. And we have some more rioting in the streets. Some more society research. Let's group these up together. And let's consider getting or saving a few more minerals so that when we take over, we can build a few items. Earth is almost done with its space port, or its colony ship. And we are going to send this ship over to see this land over here. Um, Gatrog. Uh, whatever how you call it. So we're going to sit here, colonize this planet, and colonize right there. And this will be a nice launching ground. I'll at least get a lot of the stuff here in the Xanus Nebula under our control. At the very least, it expands our borders so we can control a lot of this area here. Fortifications down by 50%. We received a diplomatic insult from the Star Directorate. So that's quite interesting. System survey. And you do have control over a lot of this area. So I believe that you're now. Are you... You're independent, but you have a contested area.
anyhow. Special project complete. We gained extra species for uh, society research. But now we're down to 800 fortification. We're just about ready to invade. Construction complete. And our science ship needs orders, so you... I'll send you north so that you can start... You can investigate this project. And then you go down to these uh, systems and start exploring a bit. Gather up all these ships, merge them to the second fleet. There we go. And we are losing money. Yeah, we have plenty of cash right now, so no worries there. Let's see, did I. It's one of the most confusing parts about losing. This, um, losing in half an episode is that you don't know what you you can't you know what you did but you can't remember if you did it within uh, the first episode or not. And yeah, let's go win this. There we go. Now let's send in our noble infantry. Okay, all the ships are being, all the drop bombs being sent in. It's strange how I lose all the ships up here, but no issue. So I'm just going to go down and completely eradicate you. Enemy planet secure. And that should make it down to 100%. Back all those armies. The mobile infantry was got renamed, unfortunately. But now if we get our ships, send them back. We should now win the war. Is that 100 percent There we go. You're forced to surrender, but I don't think System we'll forget how callously you took back at um back at in lives. Exactly what we expected from your kind. So there we go. We won. I have a ton more planets to deal with. So there we are, we now have reached a fair bit. And let's see. So you, Bakata, let's embark all of our armies here. We can embark all the armies here. And everything else is fine. So what we're going to do is look at all of these different planets independently and see what we can change around before we t ch uh, give it over to the sector. So since we have a certain... well... We have a certain building that we can now use, so let's go and place you with some Monument of Purity. And place you, if you don't need physics labs, replace that with a symbol of unity. And go to every single one of these planets simply replace them. I know let's get rid of some of our power plants, but it's definitely what we're going to need. Let's go here, build more monuments. And this is where we get to these type of planets. So what we're going to do is fully replace these two with simple upgrades here. And we have all of these different types of creatures, which I believe are just lower, lower intelligent beings that we can't really do anything with. So what we're going to do is start purging a bit. We won't purge all of them. 
you'll simply only purge about half the planet. Let's go here. Build a few more of those plants, and then we have these guys, we're just going to purge them. There we go. Is that we're losing an exorbitant amount of cash? Just an exorbitant amount. And that's fine. Because what we're going to do is now build up a few armies using their own robots, mind you. So build a few robot armies. Better keep them nice and oppressed. He wants their servants, now they are the masters. There we go. And we'll even use these guys too. Without murdering off as an offensive army. That's all we can do for now. So there we go, and now we go and build a different sector. Unfortunately all this land is pretty much cut off from one another, so what we have to do is create three new sectors. One being you two. Let's see. They all of them fine. They're all building what I want to build. Right. So build that sector here. Unfortunately, since we can't have any land mergings here, we have to do what we have. Then we go here to make a new sector. Close that. And make a third sector with these two. And look, now we're making money once more. And there we have it. Three new sectors to control all these planets. We'll go and merge all the fleets once we get it back to Earth. Take all of our fleets that we have. And then gather up all of our armies. Of course, we'll name this back to Milbar Infantry. Bet you can't really keep these names once they go in and out between invasions, but oh well. Gather up all of our armies. And gather up all these armies here. You're already at Earth. Let's send these over in this direction. There we go. Start remaking our military force. And we have all these new colonies to establish. To make. And so now we get our construction ships down to work. After a few ticks. I'll make a new army. More oppression for you. There we go. And you, the Galactic Hammer, are rivals. You're making a ton of, of influence now. Not since we destroyed a few planets, a well, few rivals, the rival that was destroyed. And we'll simply take people that you enslaved and make them now the good planetary god. There we go. And we'll set all these sectors that we have, that are all losing money, probably. And we'll make you... We'll set it all to military focus. And we'll have to start sending our 
science vessels down here and just not exploring a bit more. But then the next war that we have with them, which is the treaty, and will the treaty end. Oh, well, I almost forgot to mention, I am, um, have a non-aggression pact with the Allied United World, if that wasn't in the last episode. They asked for one, and I simply just said yes, since we will, since we had destroyed fleet. And let's see, we have... Can we go back to war against you? Quite hilarious if we just did. Can we declare war? No. no we can't wait to declare war for another ten years. That's fine. But all of our fleets are back home, and now we gather all of them up. There, okay, that's our strongest military force that we have so far. We gather up all of our mobile fleets. Now we simply merge them with the mobile infantry. And there we go. Building a very devastating mobile infantry. And you have sucked us missing resources. Anyhow, a new plant's almost done. It'll make a new sector there. Established. There we go. Now we simply need to go and remove a few of these jungles. go. And let's make a new sector out of this. I'm going to call this the midpoint. Let's see, so... B... yes. Hopefully, when we get this, get all these borders mixed together, we probably just form a one full nice sector if we can. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. See all of our construction ships and go do something. Though we don't know what we can do, unfortunately. Let's get our. Where's our? The science ships. Let's explore a bit more. So, uh, after they finish, we'll start. Actually, you know what? You don't have that much to do, so. You'll start going in this direction and start exploring a bit more. You certainly want to know what we have here. So, yeah, you'll just go directly here. I'll just simply go here. And explore everything. There we go. And over here on this front, we can... Uh, a few more stations. There we go. And at the midpoint, we can go here. Get some more stations. Here. 
Actually, let me just go here and build a resistance station. I do have the technology to terraform planets, so we see what we have, like settler back. And can we change you, terraform you? No, we need resources. And where can we find these set resources? Not around here. Oh, there we go. We are res uh, gathering resource. resource. It's terraforming gases. Hmm. Oh, we need terraforming station around the planet. Okay, well. So then go take care of that when we can. And now with all of our new energy credits that we have, we need to decide what we're going to do, like build a larger army. So currently our space station is not building anything, but we can start building at least something. Let's the cash, of course, and the minerals. So to save up a bit, build what we can, and... Actually, you don't need to build one of those. You can build a... Uh, let's see... I guess a military academy. That wouldn't be that bad to build. And at least we have a large enough fleet to go take on Arachnids if we need to. Special project complete. Though we should probably take care of the Concordat. Possibly. That was fairly large. It might serve as a problem as the Arachnids are in between a few systems that we need to go through. We can go through the south, and we can go through this direction. That's what we need to contemplate. Anyhow, we could consider building more construction ships and more science ships, but I think for now, once we pretty much get all this explored, after a while, we'll pretty much have everything gone good and done. for now. Faction-wise, we're not doing that bad at all. The Gata wants to reassemble itself. Wants to rejoin its confederation. They, with all what we have, having six armies guarding, I think should be fine. Defense army versus their defense army is a bit weaker, but we should be fine what we have. Six is good. So how many do I have here? Looking like Guma. Now we have eight. Or six. Eh, yeah, let's make it eight. Run off to a good eight number. Because most of these people are probably going to stop being enslaved, yeah. Like you. Let's make a few more defense armies, not... Not the race that's going to rebel, of course. You have a fairly small surface, so six would be fine. Someone like you... More robots. I think six should be fine for there. Got a few more troops here and here. And hopefully the governors can take care of these sectors themselves. Because I'm not going to do it for them. Should be happy though. Slightly happy. Don't mind or not. 
They're at peace, but they're starving. And they've been conquered. And have no rights. So, never mind. Let's go and give the, f the other sectors some more credits to live off of. So we'll send... that's 300 each. I'll give some to a few to the midpoint sector. There we go. Anyhow, I need to call it part here, so I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Bye.